What's up guys, your boy I and Smashy1024 here, and welcome back to another bingo book review. And uh, technically, today we're going to cover the Smash Bros. Ultimate Direct Bingo card, which by the way, only has six slots, but it doesn't mean anything, so uh, you know what, but um, anyways, today we're going to do some interesting uh, reviewing to see uh, who is in and who is not. Pretty much a review of my card. Before we start, though, I want to do a little slight note here that this considers characters that are in Smash confirmed by the Direct itself. If the character is in in the future, that will not count or make any changes to this bingo book. This bingo book is considerably for the Direct, in, considerably confirmed by the Direct itself, and no other future Direct itself. And if the character is confirmed to be a playable character, then that is confirmed. However, if it's an assist trophy, that it, it will get an X. Oh, speaking of X, X will represent that they have not made it in and is considered not playable or not confirmed. And circle stands for confirmed and is playable. Without further ado, let's get started. Number one, Goku, the man from Dragon Ball Z. Basically, this character was actually very shocked to not to be showed up in this world of Smash. I thought it'd be, although been, I thought they would show it right now actually, but I guess they wanted to show Castlevania first, which I should have put in here. And uh, I think it's a possibility it might be next next direct, but um. Unfortunately, no. I'm sorry to say that Goku is not in Smash right as of right now of this direct, and like I said, will not change. And unfortunately, what? Well, who knows? I mean, I think it's a possibility still, and I really hope so, honestly, because Goku would be a beautiful addition to Smash. The next character from on the second slot is. Sora from Kingdom Hearts series and uh, also a representative of Disney and Square Enix. Well, mainly Square Enix. Technically, this character has been requested since Smash 4 itself. And I think it's a possibility considering how how much popularity uh, Kingdom Hearts has been getting lately, especially since the new one that's coming on the way. And uh, I think it's time for Sora to unlock the key to battle. But unfortunately, right now the, the direct has been has denied its request for as of right now. But who knows? Maybe in the future. But unfortunately, I'm sorry to say one more time. Well, not actually one more time, but again. But Sora is not in Smash and confirmed by this direct, which is kind of a bit sad, considering how we only have. Five newcomers, which um, it sucks, but I mean, it, it's I guess later it'll be confirmed later on, hopefully. And uh, who knows, guys? So don't lose hope, there is a possibility. Our next character, number three, the third slot, representing Tekken, Hei Hachi uh, from the Tekken series, and this man has quite a reputation from the Tekken series and that and would be a good representative he has he was representing Tekken in the Smash 4 series featuring a Mii costume of Heihachi for the Mii fighters or Mii brawlers I should say for Smash 4 and it's a big, big possibility that he could be coming in to ultimate but unfortunately as of right now the direct cannot show Heihachi and unfortunately this guy is gonna have to get an X and I really am disappointed to hear that, honestly. And, uh, but there's doesn't, but like I said, doesn't mean anything. They could possibly be in Smash in the next direct. But I mean, unfortunately, they are not in, they did not show up in this direct. Our next character, number four slot, Funky Kong. I picked this character because not only is he a Donkey Kong character, but he will make an excellent Echo Fighter. Now hear me out as I'm about to explain this interesting plot twist. Recently, I repeat, I'm going to say this one more time. Recently, 
in the way of the ways of Donkey Kong and Funky Kong, they have similarities, but at the same time, could probably do the same shit. The only difference is, is that it's a possibility to make a different upbeat if there were to be. Maybe not, because their Echo Fighters are supposed to have the same movesets or similar, or something might be slightly different. Of course, um, of course, there is Crom who's in Smash, and I think has a different and has a different upbeat. For he's supposed to be an Echo Fighter of Roy, when in reality he's more of an Echo Fighter between the middle of Ike and Marth, and of course Roy himself. Crom is an Echo Fighter of Roy, but in re but he's mainly has a lot of properties from other fighters. And has a different upbeat than Roy, and completely different from Roy's. Could, is it possibility that Funky Kong's gonna have a different upbeat? Yes, but unfortunately, that's not the topic of this video. The topic is, was he in the direct? No, but and unfortunately, he's gonna have to get an X. But you know, I think it would be a good X to smash if he were to be in the next person, number five slot on the Bingo Book. Bandana Waddle which has been requested and even animated by Game Explains beautiful animations. And uh, he's definitely a requestable, requestable character, especially since he's been in a lot of Kirby games and sometimes in the, shall we say, in their, in their beautiful adventures and uh, sometimes even the box art itself sometimes. Or, actually, never mind, I, right, right, he wasn't even in the box art to begin with. But he has been, he's getting axed because he wasn't in. Which, by the way, he should be an asshole. And it's sad to say, but he's he's not in. And it's kind of sad-ish, honestly. The next character. A very highly requested. And a very nice character I actually hoped to see in Smash. Which, by the way, I did. This would have been a circle. This would have been a circle. If Sakurai did not make him as an assist trophy. Now technically in the direct before they were almost they were about they were finished showing off the, the Pokemon, they were shielding dildo. And uh they um he got in. He he hit a deal um he hit dildo zero. He came out of the blue and then right when it said assist trophies, he came in. He was the first one to be shown by Mega Man himself, and he was a assist trophy, but at the same time look like almost has the exact um, art almost, or similar, it's from Marvel vs. Capcom 4 Infinite, and it's pretty interesting actually, but I mean, he's getting an X unfortunately, which is kind of sad. The next character is number 7 slot, Ken. Now, I think Ken would be a good Echo Fighter. Just like just like as Simon Belmont and Richard Belmont from the Castlevania series, which is by the way in Smash, um, would be ha would be pretty much the same, but also different. Well, mainly different. Same as usual, Echo Fighters. There's some same shit, different shit, similarities. But um, he was not in the the direct, but could be a possible future Echo Fighter. By the way, the next video will cover Echo Fighters, so I do really apologize if you guys are constantly hating my my repeated Echo Fighting shit she business. The next character is Raiden from the Metal Gear Rising Revengeance series, and I think he's also with Konami, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, some of you guys may have made me make like I'm crazy, but. I think we should get another sword fight user. Man, I'm not saying that because it's, it's awesome. I'm saying because he's, he's very unique. Unfortunately, PlayStation likes to copy and they try to make... He, they made their own Smash Bros, but Raiden was in it and... It's... they got We got a nice uh, ideal of how he could play out. Of course, not all of them are not the correct ones, but... They're pretty interesting, actually, and it looks it looks very decent. Raiden's very powerful, very very fast. He can, his samurai moves and everything. He his robotics. He could he could, he could be a good access to Smash if they, if they were to add him. 
he'll have his own moveset and no other else. The next and last fighter, number six slot, is my boy Shadow. Request a uh, very requested character from Sonic Character King. If you guys saw my reaction video, which was going nuts, I believe. For wait, that was someone else. Never mind. Well, of course. Well, actually, yeah, he wanted the him. I mean, he wanted Shadow, but technically, to make it short, he was not in the E3 demo. But at the same time, could possibly still be a character. Or sorry, not E3 demo. He wasn't in the direct, I should say, the Smash direct, and technically he. He was, he would have been a good asset, but I think he will be in the next showcase for Sakurai. I did say that he will show more, that he, there will be more Echo Fighters to show off, which I'm pretty sure it's going to be more interesting. And uh, I can't wait, but unfortunately, Shadow's not in, but I, I don't think, honestly, I, um, he, I don't honestly think, like I do, like I do think Shadow should be an Echo Fighter, but at the same time, I do not. Comment down on what you guys would think of what, about this Echo Fighter business. But anyways, guys, that's the Sma that's my bingo card for the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Direct of 8818. And I hope you guys like it. And tell me what you guys think. And it really looks very interesting, actually. Especially since we got we got five characters, five new characters, two new ones, and well, actually, well, actually, yeah, like we got two new ones and three echoes, and but then even though echoes are new, but it's pretty cool, guys. But tell me, guys, what you think and what guy how you, what you guys think of the direct itself. And without further ado, guys, uh, uh, I'll let you guys do the awesomeness, but you know, awesome stuff. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Please like, comment, subscribe for for other course other games and stuff. And until next time guys, um this is your boy I ain't Smasher and I'll see you on the next video. Peace. Attack commences in thirty seconds. Oi! This is no time for standing around. operations.